Hi students, in this video, I'm going to do a quick and efficient revision on proving concurrencies for two triangles, SAS, SSS, ASA, or AAS and RHX. So please stay to the end. Right, let's look at question one. Question one, you're given a circle with center O and another four points, A, B, C, D on the circumference of the circle. So we asked to show that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DCB. So let's look at where are ABC and where are DCB. Right, so we need to show that the yellow color triangle is congruent to the green color triangle. Right, first of all, BC is equal to CB. In both triangles, they share a common side, right? So, um, yeah. And then, since O is the center of the circle, then AOC will be the diameter. So, likewise, DOB will be the diameter. So, therefore, the length of the diameters must be the same, right? So, therefore, DB is equal to AC, since both of them represent the diameter of the circle. Right, so from having two sides equal, some of you may continue to think that we can use SSS to prove the two triangles are congruent. All right, however, we can't do that because we are not given, in the diagram, we are not told that AB, the length of AB is equal to DC, we are not told at all. Right, so therefore we cannot use SSS to prove congruency for these two triangles. So if I can't use SSS, then I'm left with RHS, ASA, or SAS. Right. So let's see if we can use RHS. Why do we want to use RHS? Because if AOC is the diameter, then the angle ABC will be a right angle triangle. There's an angle property saying right angle in the semicircle equals to 90 degrees. So we should attempt to do that. Right, so angle ABC is equal to angle DCB equals to 90. Right angle in the semicircle. And we're given the hypo. The hypo of the right angle triangle basically is the diameter. Right, the hypo is the one facing the right angle triangle. So the diameter DOB and AOC are the hypo, which is the diameter of the circle, and both of them are equal in length. And we also have one common side, which is your BC. Right, so therefore we can use RHS to prove that these two triangles are congruent. Right, let's look at the next question. This also is another O-level question. So in the diagram, we are given that PQ is equal to PR. QX bisects angle PQR and RY bisects angle QRP. And we asked to prove that the triangles PQX and PRY are congruent. So let's take a look at why, where are the triangles. So I've already shown you the triangle PQX. Yes, so that is PRY. So basically, we have to prove that the two triangles are congruent, right? So clearly, we can see one common angle there. Yes, QPX is equal to RPY, that's a common angle. This one is a common angle. All right, so the next thing is what we're going to do is Right, we're going to let angle PQX equals to angle or QX equals to X. Why we can do that is because of what we're given here. We are told that the line QX bisects the angle PQR. So we can do this. Likewise, since RY bisects angle QRP, yes, I can also let the angle QRY equals to PRY equals to Y. 
same reasoning as the one we've done earlier. Okay, the next thing we need to make use of is this portion here. We're given PQ is equal to PR. If PQ is equal to PR, that will make triangle PQR an isosceles triangle. And if it's an isosceles triangle, then the angle PQR will be equal to angle PRQ. Right. So this is what we're going to do next. So therefore, the angle PQR, which is 2x, will be equal to the angle PRQ, which is 2y. And if you divide both sides by 2, you'll get x equals to y. Alright, so we will have a second pair of angle that's the same. Okay, that is PQX is equal to PRY. Because X is equal to Y as proven above. Alright, and I also have PQ, the side PQ equals to PR. Remember, remember that triangle PQR is isosceles, so therefore PQ is equal to PR given. So hence, I can use this property AAS. Oh, sorry, it's not AAS. It should be ASA. Because the order is very important. All right, so I have this common angle, right, followed by this side, followed by another angle. So it should be ASA. Okay, and not AAS. It should be ASA. Okay, let me repeat. The order is very important. Alright, so I use this common angle and then followed by the side and another angle. So it should be ASA. Right, this answer B. Prove that QX is equal to R1. So that's easy. Why easy? Because you already proved in part A the triangle PQX is congruent to PRY. So if the two triangles are congruent, then all corresponding sides will have the same length. So therefore, your QX will be equal to RY. Right, let's look at one more question. Right, in this question here, this is also um, a O-level question. In the questions here, you're given SO is equal to RO, uh, QO is equal to PO, as indicated in the diagram. And we also show that triangles POS and QOR are congruent. Right, let's look at where are the two triangles. Yes, the blue and the yellow colored triangle. So basically, we need to show that the two triangles are congruent. So that's rather easy because you're given SO equals to RO that's given in the question. We're also given QO equals to PO. And we can observe that the angle SOP is equal to ROQ using vertically opposite angle property. So therefore, we can conclude these triangles are congruent using property SAS. Okay, so where are my SAS? So site followed by angle followed by site. Okay, the order is very important. SAS means you must have the site first. The next thing, you must have the included angle. Let me repeat the included angle and then the site. Right, so let's look at part B. So we're given that PSQ is 38, SOP is 65. Ask to find angle ROQ. ROQ. Oh, sorry, RQO. We ask to find angle RQO, which is this angle here. All right, so earlier on, we proved that triangle SOP is congruent to ROQ. We proved that the two triangles are congruent, so the corresponding angles will be the same. And therefore, ROQ is basically the value, it has the same value as the angle SPO, which is just 180 minus 38 minus 65, that gives you 77, 77 degrees. Okay, so that's for part B. All right, so for part C, we ask to name another pair of congruent triangles. Okay, so the triangles we can uh, use are triangle PSQ. This triangle, it's congruent to the green colored triangle. Okay, because we have already proved in part A that SOP is congruent to ROQ, right? Basically, we can use um, SAS, you can use SSS, you can 
basically use or AAS to prove that this yellow colored triangle is congruent to the green colored triangle. But here we are not required to prove. We are just asked to name another pair. So basically you can just write down the answer that triangle PSQ is congruent to triangle QRP. All right, that's it. Okay, so this last question concludes the video on uh, a quick revision on how you can apply the concepts to prove uh, whether any two triangles are congruent or not. So that's summarize huh? the four properties to prove that there are the four tests, not properties, the four tests to prove any two triangles are congruent are RHS. So basically, you need to have a right angle triangle, the hypo must be the same, and one corresponding side the same. Uh, SAS, side angle side, the angle must be the included angle. Uh, side side side, okay, all the three sides, three corresponding sides must be the same. ASA, or sometimes you can use AAS.